It's never too late to change your career or to go back to school. The decision to go back to school wasn't easy. Look at me, a wife, a mother, a degree in dental for 17 years. But here I am at LTC, studying towards a career in cosmetology, and it's been the best decision I have ever made. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your afternoon update. Hey folks, good Wednesday afternoon to you. I'm Ben Luna here in the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. Kelly Rawson has today off. All right, on the weather front, as we head through the course of today, I think we might get a little bit on the luckier side and see just a smidge of clearing before it's all said and done with. The models were really kind of in agreement of that happening today. Otherwise, it's been a cloudy and kind of a moist start to this hump day, but I do think conditions will improve again over the course of this evening and for a while tomorrow before yeah, we got to pump the brakes on that because we have one more rain and thunderstorm chance to get through this week before we finally reach a stretch of pretty nice weather. No, we'll tell you all about that and more right here in this afternoon update made possible by our friends down at Lawrenceburg Technical College. With that said, let's hop right into it. Here's a look outside the window this afternoon, courtesy of the Arctic Air Sky Cam Network. This is our window to Hohenwald, Tennessee, in the heart of Lewis County. It is currently 60 degrees in Hohenwald, so everybody is on the mild side this afternoon, but we do have a thick cloud base overhead. Now, I think those clouds will be thinning out more so as we head through the course of the next few hours. So putting it uh, lightly, I think we could see a little bit of sunshine over parts of the area before it's all said and done with that, of course, uh, best happening on the west side of the Tennessee River and in parts of northeast Mississippi. In the River City of Lawrence, currently 62 at the campus of the University of North Alabama. Winds are from the east at 12 miles per hour and about the same goes for folks in Lawrenceburg this afternoon. It's 60 in the crossroads of Dixie where winds are from the east northeast at eight miles per hour again under a thick old cloud base across the area. Here are those clouds and along with the uh, rainfall that pushed through this morning, now predominantly east of I-65, we do have some thinner clouds back out over portions of North Mississippi and West Tennessee. So I think if we're going to see some clearing, it's going to start west and eventually find its way into our neck of the woods. You can see that uh, in the indication of those broken clouds this afternoon on Futurecast. Temperatures staying largely anywhere from the mid 60s, maybe knocking on the back door of the low 70s if you happen to see some sunshine. Again, I think that's possible, especially northeast Mississippi, trickling into northwest Alabama before the end of today. Dry weather persists as we head through the overnight and into the first part of Thursday. But after that, yeah, some things have got to change, unfortunately. Here's a look at the GFS model showing again areas of rainfall that will be building in as we head toward Thursday evening and early Friday morning. So that's kind of the preview of the greater rain and storm chance. So I think we've got a chance for a few spotty showers that will eventually come into play late tomorrow evening. And then Friday, here's a chance for shower and thunderstorm activity. Not looking for any severe weather, but some locally heavy rain. Yeah, that's gonna be a possibility as the system, a cold front pushes across the area into Friday night. Now, early Saturday, Maybe a few sprinkles left over, but we will be in clearing mode Saturday afternoon, and that's going to lead to a really nice looking and slightly cooler Sunday. Now, just how cool? I'll show you in a second. Not going to be earth shattering, but a little bit of a departure from what we've had, but it's only temporary. Here's a look at the hometown forecast for today. Many of you across southern Tennessee, well into the low to mid 60s. And again, depending if we see a hint of sunshine in northwest Alabama, we could be pushing closer to that 70 degree mark before it's all said and done with. Here's a look at the next seven days from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, keeping in a chance for a few showers beginning later tomorrow evening, and that develops into a chance for rain and thunderstorms on Friday. And then finally, we'll start to clear out beginning Saturday, I think midday to afternoon, and then check out a streak of nice weather here, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Again, starting out cooler on Sunday, look for afternoon highs to be in the mid 50s. We'll be flirting with that freezing mark early Monday morning, so there might be a frost concern. And then Monday rebounds to the low 60s with sunshine and then plumb near to 70 degrees again by Tuesday. That's a check on your afternoon update. Fred's along the way this evening with more on your local weather from the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. Have a great day.